series for this one? No, everyone's, um, you know, everyone's fit. We've got a little concern about Jerome Thomas. Um, but uh, we'll see how that is tomorrow. But the rest of them, yeah, the lads, are, uh, everyone's had a, you know, a good week. Well, I, you know, the one thing I'll, I'll, I'll say now is that, um, you know, although David's had a, a tough start at Manchester United, they've got some outstanding players, and I've watched the last three games on tapes that they've played, and, and the last three games they could have won the games comfortably. The things that they're not getting, they, you know, last year with Sir Alex, and I think he'll be the first one to say it. You know, they did have breaks; they never played. Um, as well as what they did the previous year, but they had the breaks and they won the games, and that momentum took them forward. You know, unfortunately with Dave, they, they, they haven't had the breaks, so they've they've not been able to, to pick up momentum. And um, you know, it, they've they've wonderful players. It's a wonderful football club, and um, you know, we, you know, we're, we're proud to to host them on Saturday. Given the fact that Stoke, West Brom, and Lincoln, they're 23 points worse off than they were last season. As I've just said, they're an absolutely magnificent football club. They've got a great manager. He'll, he'll in time, David will turn it the way he wants it. You've got to give him time. You've got to give him the opportunity to do it. Just like they, they gave Sir Alex when Sir Alex first came into the job. They gave him the opportunity and the chance to turn the club round. And it's a proper football club. And the people behind the scenes will give David that time, irrespective, I think, of what you know, the, the press and the media will say, you know, that he couldn't be at a better club with better people because they've been there before, all, all be it 25, 30 years ago, but they were in this position before. So let's be wrong anything on Saturday. The atmosphere has been superb. How much can your, your home support actually help you? No, the, t the supporters have been wonderful. They, they've been absolutely, they've, they've picked the baton up and really led from the front and, and you know, the, the, you know, the, the whole... Um, you know, experience of a Premier League game at, at, at Palace, you know, starts with the supporters. You know, they, they, they have really, really, you know, led the team and we appreciate, and the players certainly appreciate the support that they've got. And, um, you know, the supporters understand and recognise how difficult this task is and how difficult it will be. So, that, you know, they, they've been absolutely fantastic and a credit to, to football supporters in general. And the 11 teams are kind of way eight points at the bottom. How many do you think keeps you safe? One more than the team who finishes 17th. You know that, that that's you know the, the the important thing is is that every game you go out and try and win every game and you try and pick the points up. I don't think you can look any further than the next game in this league. And you know if you win games, you've got to keep your feet on the ground and keep pushing forward. And if you lose games, you've got to dust yourself down, get up, and and, and get ready for the next one. And that that's the way it's going to be from now until the end of the season. So kind of the difference between new signings makes the two. Well, I think it's, it's brightened the, the, the football club up and it's given everybody a lift. Um, and, you know, the training this week, like I say, we, you know, we, we've really worked hard and they've trained well. And you just hope that we get, uh, we get the breaks on Saturday. Glenn Murray's fitness again, maybe coming off the bench again? Yeah, Glenn, you know, Glenn's got um, a, another week under his belt. He's worked hard. You know, he's, he's, he's trained really well and he's a goal scorer, he's a natural goal scorer, he's, you know, scoring 30 odd goals last year before he got injured. Um, so we're desperate to get him back and get him in the team. Tony, did the postponement of the recent Everton game upset the at all? Well, it's disappointing because we were on such a good run. So to, to have 10 days, you know, not doing nothing is, is disappointing. You want to keep playing when things are going for you. Um, but having said that, it's given us time to, you know, to keep the group together, which we've done. You know, we've uh, we've been out for dinner. You know, took the wives out for dinner and everything, and had a good um, uh, you know couple of days of, of bonding. So you just hope and pray, like I say, that we turn up Saturday and we get the breaks and the lads play well. And the Premier League table this year is so congested. There's so many teams on an even amount of points. Do you feel this year has been the most kind of competitive Premier League we've seen? Well, I think from you know tenth downwards, it's been you know really really competitive, but. Um, it, it, you know, it, 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 you've just got to keep, like I say, you've got to keep your head and you've just got to keep working hard and you've got to open pray that, you know, things drop for you and things go your way. And there's so many variables that you're relying on that, um, you know, you, you, you do need that little bit of luck at times.